and welcome to this edition of the Power Circuits Program, brought to you by the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. This utility company will continue to keep you informed about its mandate of managing the national electricity grid and wheeling bulk power nationwide. Vice President Osin Bajo says federal government to create more jobs with solar power Niger. TCN, Edo government strengthening ties to protect power transmission assets. Brand new 40 MVA power transformer energized at Okene transmission substation. The spotlight is on power transmission lines encroachment areas in Lagos State that have been flagged for remediation. I am Amara Agugoesi and this is the Power Circuit. Vice President Yemi Osin Bajo says the federal government has a target to create more jobs by fully implementing the 5 million solar power Niger program. He disclosed this recently at the launch of the second phase of the program in the Jangafe community of Jigawa State. Here is more on this. During the program launch, Professor Shibajo said the federal government is poised to create over 250,000 jobs within the 140 billion naira solar power Niger, which is a section of the Economic Sustainability Plan, ESP, as part of the efforts in reversing the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Rather than have a situation where people lose jobs and lose opportunities, we could take the opportunity of COVID-19 to create more jobs. We could take the opportunity of the economic fallouts to create more opportunities for the Nigerian people. He also lauded the Niger Delta Power Holding Company, NDPHC, for leading renewable energy assets as a firm had in the past implemented 20,000 solar home system installations, adding that it has become an important catalyst for off-grid solar systems in Nigeria, especially with the current projects in Kazaure Emirates. I think it's very appropriate for us to begin this very important project the electrification of Nigeria, which the president approved just last year, the electrification of 5 million homes using uh, solar power. And it's very appropriate that we should begin here in Jigawa State, and in particular here in the Kazare Emirate. The Minister of Power Engineer Saleh Mamung at the event said Nigeria will rake in 7 billion naira in tax revenue from the ongoing solar power Niger scheme while ensuring that such policy promotes rural electrification. It is duty of the Ministry to ensure bringing policies that will provide adequate access to electricity to citizens of the country, especially those living in the underserved and underserved uh, rural communities. Mama Fora explained that the project is being developed by the Niger Data Power Holding Company, NDPHC, and other partners with funding from the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. The governor of Jigawa State, Mohamed Badaru, said the project will enhance social and economic sustainability in the state. Five million homes will be powered with home units in this country and i'm sure jigawa will get a minimum of 150,000 homes out i make sure what the vice president is commissioning to give us all really today is real and i've seen it i'm so happy to confirm that it is real the managing director of ndphc chedu ugo whose agency is developing the project said the second phase of the program targets 100,000 solar home system installations with provisions for full ownership after the homeowners pay 3,500 naira monthly rent fee for five years. At the end, 25 million people are expected to benefit from the 5 million connections. The Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, has strengthened ties with the Edo State Government to protect power transmission assets in the state. 
officials of the Benin region of TCN and the Edo State's governor, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, held talks on strategic issues that include tackling vandalism and right-of-way encroachment of power transmission lines during a courtesy visit by the TCN delegation to the governor at the government house in Benin recently. The Regional Transmission Manager, RTM, Benin Region of TCN, Engineer Isaac Okwe, said he led the delegation to the Governor on behalf of the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of TCN, Engineer Suli Ahmed Abdulaziz. I started to congratulate you. I received a great and boost last year. And your victory at the tribunal. This shows God's endorsement for the proposed choice. Congratulations, sir. We really want to appreciate you for the programmatic ways you are touching the lives of the dollars. Thank God for the momentous strides and the peace in the land. We want to thank the Excellency for your collaboration and support that made the construction and energization of SACO one way to protect UTV substation in the end of the shares. He said the company was seeking more support from the state government, especially over threats of vandalism to TCN towers and transmission lines. We are here to solicit support of Your Excellency in tackling the menace of vandalism of our equipment. As 0354 hours of 18th March 2021, unknown persons vandalized five number towers, towers 313 to 317 of Benin Europe Open 132 KV transmission line at the beginning. This interrupted power supply to SAC wanted to give a three-kilometer substation for about two days. We are now presently feeding a feeding SAC substation from Alcuta. This arrangement is affecting the quality of power supply. And the cost to uh, erect these towers, these number of towers that were replaced, is so enormous. Engineer Okwe solicited the Edo State Government support on adequate security to protect power assets. To ask for your help in galvanizing the security agencies, traditional rulers, and community leaders in Edo State on how to call this menace. As these vandals lives amongst us. Responding, Governor Godwin Obaseke confirmed that he got a report of the transmission line vandalism in the state just as he ordered a thorough investigation into circumstances that led to the incident. While reiterating his commitment to work with TCN, the governor recalled the previous collaborations with the company 
that had yielded results, including the removal of structures that are believed to have encroached the right of ways of power transmission lines within the states. Governor Basike also reassured the TCN delegation that his administration would engage local vigilantes to protect all TCN facilities across the states, adding that electricity was of immense value to the states. The power circuits We continue after this break. Did you know that our high-tension transmission cables were built to withstand high temperatures except artificially induced ones such as fire? Did you know that burning bush or refuse dumps by TCN transmission tower base or along the transmission line's right-of-way is an offense? Did you know that the fire can cause high-tension transmission lines to snap and fall to the ground, electrocuting living things within the line radius? Did you know that extreme fire can cause the legs of transmission towers to buckle and that buckling of the main frame of a tower would lead to its collapse? And they even pull down other towers along that transmission line's route, causing untold damage to the line. Now that you know, yes, now that you know, TCN is calling on all citizens of Nigeria to please desist from destroying our collective national investments. Be careful, do not set fire on trash or burn bush beside transmission towers or under electricity lines nationwide. Help us preserve the transmission grid and save the nation from blackout. TCN, transmitting electricity in the most efficient and effective manner. Engineers of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, have energized a brand new 40 MVA power transformer at Okene Substation in Kogi State to further boost the facility's power evacuation capacity. The 132-33 kV Okene substation is one of the critical power transmission assets of TCN in Kogi State, serving a wide area. To further give this substation a boost from the 72 megawatts capacity it can already evacuate, TCN had initiated the 40 MVA power transformer as part of its transmission rehabilitation and expansion drive. Since the TCN engineer successfully energized the 40 MVA 132-33 kV power transformer at Okene substation, over two weeks ago, it has been operating in a perfect condition helping to add about 36 megawatts of bulk power delivery to distribution load centers in its coverage area. The power circuit crew had visited Yokene substation earlier, where the system operator on duty, engineer Adebanji Isaac Oluwafemi, explained why the TCA management was expanding the operational activities at the facility. We have two inf infit, one from Bini and the other one from Ajakuta. So that there will be room for flexibility. If there is in case of any problem, we can open one of our isolator, then we feed from Ajakuta. And if the Ajakuta is having a problem, we can still also feed from uh, Benin by opening the Q, uh, Q65. That's the isolator facing towards uh, Ajakuta, so that we'll be feeding from Benin end. The transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, says it has completed the upgrade and reconductoring of the 132 kV bringing KB to Sokoto power transmission line. The TCN management said the project, which was initiated at the end of last year, was to enable the company to replace the power conductors with a much higher capacity to improve buck power delivery in the area. The line reconductory project involved engineers stringing high-capacity conductors on the power transmission line route across a span of over 100 km distance with 415 transmission towers on the route. The Assistant General Manager Transmission Shiroro Region of TCN, Engineer Abubakar Abdulaziz, during a recent inspection of the concluding parts of the project, said the line was a critical transmission asset on the national power grid. We will come for the final inspection and then taking over of the line from the contractor. So I think it's a very good one and it's a great achievement for TCN. Uh, it's a great achievement for uh, Sokoto State, even Nigeria in general. So these are find part of the project that the TCN is engaged in trying to expand the network everywhere where we have an existing 
uh, structure facility, we need to upgrade it. This one is now upgraded because it is going to carry double of its uh, capacity. So, uh, due to the growth of load, at the receiving end, that is Sokoto and it is in Barons. We now look at the, oh, we access the line and then we do some, we carry out simulation. We now discover that is the load is growing. So, since the load is growing, what can we do to mitigate that? We decided to reconduct on it. So, it's an existing line, we are only replacing the conductor. The conductor has an advantage, as I told you earlier, it has a, an advantage of current carrying capacity. It can carry double than what the ordinary ACSR of the same size can carry. It has a lighter weight. Due to the climatic, different climatic conditions of the northern part of Nigeria, like here around Sokoto, the heat used to be very high during hot season. Uh, this conductor has a greater advantage. It has, uh, uh, it has an advantage of temperature regulation more than that of the steel aluminium reinforced. These are all the characteristics we check on this innovative uh, conductor. We just decided to purchase it and then use it for all our network. Anywhere we have a transmission line constraint, we try to reconduct that line remove the old one and then replace it with the new one that will significantly improve our capacity at different substations also in a statement kaduna electric the firm that operates the distribution load centers that feed from the tcn transmission line inform its customers that with the completion of the project power supply to all communities in parts of kb and sokoto states has been restored the menace of the encroachment of power transmission lines right of way in Nigeria requires concerted efforts by all stakeholders to be addressed. It is in this regard that the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, has been flagging these cases across the regions for immediate action by concerned authorities. In this edition, the Power Circuit presents cases of encroachment of right of way of power transmission lines in the Lagos region. Under the Kejo West to Lawrence Ogo, 330 kilovolt transmission line between towers 521 and 522, engineer Manuel Kuyi, the senior manager system lines in the Kejo West sub-region of TCN under the Lagos region said there are three transmission lines from the Kejo West station, including the 330 kV Kejo West to Shogo and the 330 kV Kejo West to Sakete Bene Republic line. However, he said these lines are threatened by encroachment at Amule village in Ayobo area of Lagos. Although people are not supposed to build any structure under the line, but today everybody is coming under the line with mechanics, scrap sellers taking over the right of way of the power transmission lines and dumping of refuse there. These people continually gather their refuse and burn them under the high tension power lines, which causes a lot of problems to the 330 kV lines. Engineer Kui further described as worrisome the menace of this encroachment by mechanics and scrap sellers who are seen moving about their business without recourse to safety measures. This is a portion of the transmission right of way that residential buildings were erected under the 330 kilovolt high tension line. And here is another section where the dump site is mounting up to a tower on the 330 kV transmission line. What still, people do not care as they do business in this kind of situation. Still at the Amule village, Engineer Kuye lamented the unbridled encroachment practices by the residents. Around Towers 496 and 497 on the 330 KV Loring Shogo in Ogun State to Ikeja West Transmission Line, there are piles of dumps which could ignite fire under the line and pose a serious threat to the line's operation. On the effects of this burning, he said, as the smoke goes up, segments of dust rest on the line and the flame is harmful to the free flow of power on the line and harmful to people living in the environment. 
Engineer Kui also said fire burning under the power transmission lines will raise the temperature around the lines and could cause outage because the free flow of power on the lines will be broken. Specifically, he said power generated from power stations like Kainji, Shiroro, Jeba, Omotosho, and Egbin could be lost if such occurs, thereby depriving a lot of people of electricity. The TCN official further warned members of the public about the health effects of living under the power lines, which is said the radiation from the power lines can cause so many diseases like cancer, skin rashes, and others. Engineer Kue then appealed to people that are trading on waste raw materials and everyone living under the power lines to disease from that by relocating elsewhere to avoid the dangers. The effect of fire under high tension will raise the temperature, the ampute temperature of the air surrounding the line, the conductor. And once that one happens, it will cause outage on the line. The free flow of the power will be broken. Thereby, all the effort in generating from the generating stations, Kanji, Shiroro, Jeba, Omotosho, Egbin, all will be wasted. When we say we want to develop power in Nigeria, this is a reason why the growth we are looking for in power could not be possible. in terms of the rate at which we want the power to be developed. Because as the federal government, the company is trying to make sure that power goes to everyone that required power. There are some little, little things that hinder the flow of power. And this is exactly one of the places that we visited today just to show the public that it's no good to put this kind of thing under high tension because it easily ignites fire. Verify that land before you buy it. To drastically reduce the incidence of building under the transmission right of way or encroaching on designated TCN land, members of the public are hereby requested to verify land near or along transmission line route before purchasing it. Verification should be made in the Land Development Authority or at the TCN office. This would help in drastically reducing the incidence of building under transmission line right of way and save us all the problem of pulling down the structure or truncating transmission line expansion projects in your community due to court injunction. Help us serve you better. Verify that land before you buy it. Before wrapping up this edition, here are the highlights. Vice President Tosin Bajo says federal government to create more jobs with solar power Niger. TCN, Edo government strengthen ties to protect power transmission assets. Brand new 40 MVA power transformer energized at Okene transmission substation, lift station capacity. And the spotlight was on power transmission lines encroachment areas in Lagos State that were flagged for remediation. It's a good deal having you always on the power circuit program of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. We have made available this episode and all others on the TCN YouTube channel. You can keep your views and comments coming on these platforms as you sustain your collaboration with TCN in delivering on its mandate. TCN wishes you the best always. Also keep observing the coronavirus prevention protocol. I am Amara Agugoisi. Have a good time.